Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to Xdex. Today, that still never gets boring of saying. Anyway, today we're doing Relicanth, a move that I made up quite a while ago. And without further ado, let's jump into it so I don't ramble further. Hello everyone and welcome back to Xdex. Today, we're getting ready for the tutorial for Relicanth. If I'm at a weird angle, I apologize, still getting this room figured out that I am in shooting my tutorials. Uh, but let's just jump right into it. So the prerequisites would be Z grip for sure, pivoting a card for sure, and uh, walk through the move. One time, make sure I'm in camera angle. And pretty much your swing cuts and swivel cuts will get you through this one. Um, we're just gonna be moving around some segments of packets. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So you're going to start by doing a Sybil cut without the bottom packet. So the index finger, middle, uh, index finger on the bottom, middle, and index split. And then what you want to do is just take like, uh, so if you guys have ever learned the five faces of Sybil, you're going to turn this wrist down and then the middle and thumb on this hand are going to grip that. And they're going to bring that packet down this way. This index finger is going to start to pivot off a card, but this thumb on this hand is going to meet here and the index is going to pivot backwards and continue past to push out. So you're gonna be in this position here. A scissor cut will also be required. So a scissor cut's going to happen in the left hand. The index finger is going to pivot out a card this way. And I'll walk back through that again because that's kind of weird. Uh, so you get to Sybil, thumb, you turn this wrist down, the middle packet, thumb middle. There you go, take that out. Then you can re-grip. So this is in raised uh, dealer's grip, the bottom packet. The thumb contacts the back two here and the index finger pushes out like that. You want enough clearance to where this pivoting card clears this thumb right here. So it goes like this. So that's almost, it's now parallel with the original packet. And then it's going to actually run into the, um, here it's gonna happen like this. There we go. It's going, the middle finger is going to come back down so that the index finger can push off like that. And from the back, you'll be making this X shape. And you want to make sure you want, you're going to have the middle finger of this hand on the back touching the packet here, because what's going to happen is, here's the really fun part of Relicanth. You break out like this, thumb and middle bring it around to where it's now in Z grip. Thumb contacts the back, index pivots out, uh, scissor cut goes down across here to make the X, so the index goes from here to the scissor cut and moves down this way. The middle finger on this hand is going to help push the packet up like that. The index is going to come out, pushing that packet out and you're gonna end here. But to finish the move, you're going to split this packet here that's between this thumb and this pinky. You're gonna split it like that and bring this packet down to here. So now you're in this triangle position. So this is a cool little part of that move. So I'll show you that again. Middle thumb brings it down to here. Index pivots this out, swings out here. This packet shifts down like that. This packet gets split in about half. And here's what's cool. This gets placed here. And then you could just do this, do some whatever cool flourishy thing that you want, but you split it again. So three pretty good thirds, middle, Takes that here, middle and thumb, pivot out a card to make that X. You'll get that fluid, fluidity down later. Then this packet splits. You come down here, split it again, and then take your right wrist or dominant wrist and pull it all out this way. Make sure I'm in camera. And then what happens is you pivot this down. Your thumb lets go of that packet so it slides in. That can close. And then what happens is you essentially put this packet on top and then your index comes and pulls that in and you're left like this. So I'll do it one more time. Pivot out like this. Oop, hold on, let me readjust that. Pivot out like this. There we go. Split that packet again. Oh, and I didn't take enough cards. I'm gonna do it one more time. Here. There we go. And guys, be patient with yourself on these moves because sometimes it even takes me a little while to get my own move. Come back in and then close. And that is pretty much Relicanth, guys. I will walk through it for people who need a little bit more time to walk through, 
but otherwise you pretty much got the basic motion down. So let's get it. Sybil, without the bottom packet, thumb and middle reach around, pull that underneath to lay down. This thumb contacts these back here to create the scissor cut. Grip, the index pushes that out here. It will swivel like that. And then your middle meets this top here so that it can push out. This starts to do this little move you got here. And then this can slam down right there and meet here. So then your middle splits that packet, brings it down to that front index, leaves another packet there and spreads out like this. So it kind of looks like the fish relicanth in Pokemon. And then you bring it to the front, let that packet go, and like this, meet the thumb and pull in with your index. And you guys have just done relicanth. Hope you guys enjoy and we will see you in the next tutorial. So sorry about the quality on this guys. Um, Still figuring some stuff out with this room and my monitor didn't work today and it's really hot up here and I'm sweating. So we're gonna have to figure all that out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.